I never thought I'd be saying this, but the Patriots defense needs some work. Mariah Jonos and Evan Lazar here to talk all about it. Evan, the Patriots gave up 33 points against the 49ers on Sunday. What are you most concerned about from that game, from what you saw there? Well, what I'm most concerned about, and I think this is Bill Belichick's worst nightmare, is that his defense is not flexible. And I think the word, you know, kind of the phrase that we always go with is styles win fights, right? And right now the Patriots typically in New England, Bill Belichick can fight any style, right? One game he can come out and he can be a lightweight. The next game he can be a heavyweight. Then he can be a southpaw. Then he can, you know, they can do whatever they want. This defense right now can only play one way. And that is with those defensive backs on the field, six, sometimes seven DBs against a high powered passing attack, like a Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. They match up great against those types of teams. Heck, they match up great against the Buffalo Bills on Sunday for those reasons reasons but when a team like San Francisco can come in here and they can put a fullback in the backfield and a tight end that can block and they can run at the Patriots the Pats are struggling out of their base defense they played 23 snaps out of base defense so a traditional three defensive linemen four linebackers or four defensive linemen three linebackers and they gave up over six yards per play on those 23 snaps, which is not good. So basically what we're seeing is, is that the pads cannot play in base because they don't have the linebacker depth to put those guys out there. And then if they play in like a dime or a nickel defense, they're getting run on in that defense as well. So that's the concern that I have now. The, the good news for the Patriots is that not a lot of teams are built in 2020 like the San Francisco 49ers as a power downhill running game. It, it doesn't really exist too much in the league. So Bill Belichick's built his defense for the 2020 sort of slate of games for the Pats and also just for the way the league is going on the offensive side of the ball. But some of those traditional old school type of offenses are going to give the Patriots problems. Now, who are some guys that you would like to see stepping up in that defensive unit in the coming weeks? Ideally, Josh Uche would come in and add some speed, athleticism, explosiveness, and playmaking to that second level of the defense and be the guy that they thought that they drafted in April. And if you get into a nickel or you get into a base defense and you have a guy like Uche who can make plays, then hopefully it gets a little bit better and those numbers improve. But the one way that I would cer certainly start to – kind of entertain if I'm the Patriots. And again, this goes back to my first point about how Belichick wants to be flexible. He wants game plan, have be a game plan defense that week in and week out can change what they do. Maybe they don't be a game plan defense this year and they focus on playing in those six defensive back packages and they put Adrian Phillips in the box. And when Kyle Duggar comes back, he plays closer to the line of scrimmage and they play these 225 pound DBs essentially as linebackers. And they say, screw it. We're just going to forget about the off ball linebacker position for this season we're going to run six or seven dbs out there all the time and if you run on us you run on us but at least we're going to be able to control you know the sideline to sideline pace of the game and not give up as many yards through the air so uh, to me i'm leaning more towards the second one just because uj has missed so much practice time at this point i'm not even sure he's going to be having a successful season as a rookie so maybe they just lean all the way into that secondary being the strength of this team run six or seven dbs out there all the time even on first and second down and live with what they give up on the ground because again a lot of the teams that they're going to play are not going to be the San Francisco 49ers with Kyle Juszczyk and George Kittle in a downhill running game so they can probably survive against a lot of teams in lighter personnel groupings. All right for all of our Patriots coverage head to clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Patriots Press Pass.